Hi, this is Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest. I am still on the beautiful island of Aruba and looking for a new dye matter. Um, I have identified in our garden space something called Purple Heart. And Purple Heart is also a dye material. It does not make purple. So I'm kind of excited to see what it will do in the dye pot. And we're going to go cut a few pieces now to put there. This plant, which is this amazing purple, and has these beautiful pinkish purple flowers, this is called Purple Heart. And it does, in fact, make a color. What the color is, I won't tell you. It'll be a surprise to both you and I, but I believe it's not gonna be purple. One thing I will note, and this is super important if you're foraging, is that I always look up to see if a plant is toxic. Now, I am not using any utensils that I ever use for cooking, so I'm safe if it's super toxic to the skin or irritating the skin, obviously you'd wanna wear gloves, but Purple Heart is toxic if you ingest it. So this is something that I've already checked up on and I've made sure that I'm going to be very safe about not cross-contaminating anything in the kitchen that I might use. I did bring all of my dye pots and utensils with me on this trip. So I have those at my disposal to use to protect us. So this Purple Heart is planted as a decorative plant out in the garden. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually collect pieces here that have already broken off from the plant itself. And so they're slowly going to be wilting away and disappearing, but I'm going to collect as much of this as I can first. We may still have to cut a piece or two, but it's gonna be very minimal, and it's going to be pretty much like pruning. So we won't take too much of the plant itself so that it can regenerate and continue to flourish. The Purple Heart, as I mentioned, is toxic if it's ingested by humans or pets, so we're going to be very careful about making sure that there's no cross-contamination with anything we would use in the kitchen. So we will cut a few pieces now just to get a little bit more for the dye pot and do it in a pruning fashion, taking just a bit of the plant from different areas in order to allow it to have a bit more space to grow some new shoots. So really just a thinning out process. And again, we're not gonna take too terribly much. I would say maybe two more strands or two more stems would be sufficient in order to get enough material so we can just test out the color itself while we're here in sunny and windy Aruba.
am about to go out to the line to check on my purple hearts. I'm pretty pleased with the color actually. It did not turn out purple, but it does have a really nice pink cast to it. My expectation was that it might turn green and perhaps based upon a lack of heat or how I prepared it, it didn't. So I'm going to leave it as is and feel pretty happy about it as an option to make pink, especially since it is growing so much here in this particular garden and needed to be thinned out anyway. So let me take you over to show you what it looks like. I'll just walk over here to the hanging area. So you can see in the drying area that really we got some very pretty pink color, especially like the silk gauze and the softer silk pieces got a really beautiful darkish pink and then I've got a nice variety here really dependent upon the fabric itself as well as the process which I use different mordants for this I have an ala mordant soy milk mordant on most of the other pieces and it looks like it really does interact very differently depending upon whether it's protein fibers or cellulose fibers. I don't have any wool with me. The only protein fiber I have is the silk itself, but I have a couple different styles of silk, so, and they do uh, behave differently. I also have a couple different cottons as well as bamboo, and those also, depending upon the different cottons and the way they've been put together or, or woven, they definitely make a difference. So it's always that same advice is to try a whole series of different textiles, different types, even within the same textile family, because you will find that it does uh, make a difference. Yourself, it's still filming. It's still filming. 